The Unfiltered by Jade. Jade. Welcome to The Unfiltered by Jade, where we get out of the box and dive into topics that are sidelined. I look forward to entertain, educate, and inspire. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, donate, and make everybody know about this. Beats by RB Records, a proud sponsor of the Unfiltered by Jade. Shopping assistance Jamaica takes the stress away. Our services include online and local shopping in Jamaica for individuals and businesses, personal shopping, purchasing of company and office supplies, importing and exporting small packages across Jamaica and worldwide, helping you to find unique gifts and items for all events and occasions. Contact us at 876-919-5195. Five. Shopping Assistance 2015 at gmail.com. Follow Shopping Assistance on Instagram at Shopping Assist JA, at Twitter at Shopping Assist 5, and Facebook at The Shopping Assistance. Shopping Assistance, your style, your budget. Welcome back to the Unfiltered by Jade. Today we have with us two nice lively persons who i have met recently and i have i've grown some interest in them and they have a podcast which you'll be hearing about from them it's called the okay then podcast yes the okay then podcast and you're gonna be in for something because these two have personalities that i know you'd love to listen to so hi guys how are you how are you hi how are you hello 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 <laughs> Yes, yeah, so hi, Omar and Kimberly. It's good to have you. Thanks for having us. That was such a nice introduction. It was. It was. <laughs> I mean, you were, you were, you were nicer correct. to Omar. You were, you no, were really you were, nice for Omar, yeah. You were partially correct. There's only one personality here. And it's, it's mine. <laughs> it's Kimberly, not Omar, but you gave it to him anyway, so it's fine. You gave it to him. Oh, Lord. So can you guys introduce yourself and tell our audience about you, please? My name is Omar. I am one half of OK Then, and to my left is <laughs> this is Kimberly. I'm the better half of. Uh, <laughs> she said she's the okay better half. half. <laughs> yeah, the better half to the OK Then podcast. So. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, oh, we're, we're gonna be in for treats. Uh, <laughs> so let's let's talk about it. So how is it that you guys developed a friendship? Uh, we met during the pandemic. Um, I saw her running on peace tree. <laughs> <Didn't have to laughs> no, um, we we Come met on. we met we met in a weird time of the world, and our personalities clicked. And uh, it took a while to sit down and decide, you know, this is what we're going to do. But we decided that we're going to have a podcast, and the premise of our podcast is basically two friends who talk about nothing but cover everything. Nice, isn't isn't that something? Right? You just summed it all up. I mean, yes. in one, God, it, okay, Farlow. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you know, the, the podcast is, it's, it's, we didn't want it to be too serious. We didn't want it to, to be overly informative. Like, you know, we, we know that podcasts are great for giving information. Mm -hmm. I, I, think, I think what we wanted was just to develop some happiness, some laughter, you know, and some feel good because what's going on in the world it was a lot of there was, there was a lack of that right yes and because there's so many podcasts that are being developed and put out there i feel like they all kind of try to go in competing intellectually yes we're, we're more like hey come listen to us it's like driving to work every morning and listening to your favorite radio show awesome that's so good yeah man he's good with the words he's good at putting I those mean, things together hey, he's okay <laughs> <laughs> he's okay Jay, Jay, if you just listen, that's what jealousy sounds like. <laughs> wow, that's what we're doing. Don't okay, don't repeat that pattern. okay, do not repeat that okay, pattern. then, <laughs> oh, okay, then, 
Thank you. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what is your this what's your what's your definition of true friendship and loyalty? And I must say, and I must tell our listeners that I have you know, I, I got these questions and this idea based on topics that you guys actually had in your podcast because I sat down and listened to them. My husband oh. and I did. Yes, we did. Uh, very nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, so it came up on it because I heard you guys mentioning something about friendship and loyalty. And that struck a chord for me because I like, hmm, let me hear what they have to say. Because, I mean, you guys touched on it, but you didn't go in depth. Right, so, right, right. Yeah. So, well, yeah. I mean, I'm going to be a gentleman. I'm going to let Kimberly start this off. Then I, and okay. I'll jump in whenever she's incorrect. So. Um, <laughs> let me see. I'm going to start with loyalty, to be honest okay. with you. Because I feel mm-hmm. like friendship, I think you can tackle that one. Okay. Um, loyalty to me is just always having somebody's back um, and just letting them know when they're right or wrong. Sorry. But yeah, loyalty is just always having someone's well, a best interest at heart, to be honest with you. Okay. And just always, you know, um, wanting them to succeed and just having their back no matter what and telling them, you know, when they're wrong, telling them when they're right, um, but telling them and not telling the world. If mm. that makes sense. Yes, 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 um, yes. You know what I mean? Just being yes. loyal to that particular person so that no matter what they do or what they say, like they just always are comfortable with you and they always yes. feel supported by you yes period. yes yeah so that's that's loyalty so okay i'm going to tackle friendship too because i right. think i don't know what's happening with with the mascot and omar over there but friendship i'm learning you know jade be honest with you i'm learning um more about friendship than i think i really ever have to be honest because okay. like i guess you know I always used to say, like, I don't like I have a lot of friends, Mm -hmm. you know, but I'm learning that they're not all my friends. Yes. You know, or that if they were my friends, maybe we've outgrown each other as. Yes. Yes. You know? Yes. I like that. And I think that really the pandemic and COVID oh, has yes. really opened my eyes to oh, that yeah. mm-hmm. the change of friendship. So. Yes. Yes, yeah. I agree with you. I agree with okay, you. What, what are you about to say? Okay. I just feel like she asks us what the true meaning of friendship and loyalty, and you're yeah. reading a script. Wow, you you. So Jay, <laughs> not Jay, you believe you literally just so did Jay, that. Let me tell you what you I completely think. changed the entire vibe. That was from my heart. I know. That. <laughs> Why did you do that? It was from your heart. To so paper. speaking of loyalty, Omar has none. Zero. <laughs> Zero. No, I don't. <laughs> You know, but it, it is in our contract that I, I show you no loyalty. No, I don't. It's in our contract. No. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> um, so you said the true definition of friendship and loyalty? Yeah. Yes. You, about what you think it is. I oh, think she's man. asking you. That, it, it's it's, it's kind of like they run, they run together, right? Like having a deep, real friendship, loyalty is, is a byproduct of that, right? Like you're going to be loyal because that is someone that you consider to be a friend. I think a lot of people misuse the word friend because you met them and you hang out and you see them out every now and then, right? Mm, Those are associates, right? I think we should start labeling people for what they really are because when things get thick and things get tough, I've never seen an associate associate rise to the occasion. It's always Mm, been a friend. Wow. Yes. So I think your friendship friendship circle should be as as wide as your hand. I think- that's as far as your friendship <laughs> circle should, you know, really. She said, that's Ooh. about two. Yeah. Oh, okay. so yeah, two friends. No, no. My hand's so small, I'm saying, like, <laughs> friends. No, no, but, but, but imagine, <laughs> uh, when, you, when, you, when you imagine balling up your hand and, and what a fist could do, a fist mm-hmm. could be destructive, a fist could mean solidarity, it can, it can mean so many things. So I think that's what friendship is. This is like, yes. why it is your hand, right? Because your hand is going to extend, your hand is going to help, your hand is going to do whatever it's supposed to do to to bring peace within a friendship, right? Yes. So that's why yes. I feel like, look, friendships are rare. They're hard. And I'm 47 and I'm learning that friendship doesn't happen overnight, right? It doesn't even happen in years. No. A friend, In my opinion, a friendship could be a moment. I could meet a person in a moment and consider you a friend 
and I've known someone for 30 years. Ah, uh, yes, I yes. I'm a friend, right? Yes, I agree. I don't think it's about the length of the relationship. I think it's about the strength of the relationship. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> and, and that is, that is actually, that is actually yeah. from a poet that we all know is fabulous. Yeah, I was about to say, dude, you talk about me with the script that you read it verbatim, <laughs> no, Omar and Jade, it was verbatim. <laughs> No, no, it wasn't. It that wasn't. Was <laughs> oh, go away. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, Jay. I only use that reference because it, it was fitting, right? But I love hip hop. I love music. Yes. It's not my fault that I remember lyrics, right? <laughs> so I, I should be thanking Fabulous for that wonderful lyric. <laughs> But, no, it was so good though. but it was right. Like, yeah, like, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's you know, good. Crazy. When Way I heard it, back, Farlow. when I heard it, I felt like, wow. I'm like, wow. That is very powerful. Right? Yes, that's good. That was good. That very right. powerful. So, way to, way to bring it back. All right. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. And and like I said, with, with with the with the with the deep friendship and real friends, we, he's, we you, you, loyalty is definitely going to be part of that, right? Yes. Because you have established that look. If you understand what friendship means, I would never turn my back on you. I would never disrespect you. I will always be there in your time and need as a friend. Yes. Right? That's loyalty. That's being loyal to a situation. Hey, uh, Omar, I'm in jail again. Kimberly, <laughs> I'll come bail you out one more time. No way. <laughs> Hey, that's friendship. That's question. <laughs> like, you, always, you, always do, you always do that. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my <sighs> God. And you don't have to laugh. You really don't. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, don't you, you guys are hilarious. Hey, hey, set, you, set yourself free. Wait, no. <laughs> anyway, all right, because this could be forever. Okay. <laughs> no, no. So in all seriousness, Dude, we're on number two. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, we're done. We're, we're done, done with, with friendship. One. Yeah, no, we're still not friendship. <laughs> we're on question number two, though. I think. I'm sorry, Jade. Are we on question number two? <laughs> we're actually going to oh. question number three. Oh, you okay. took us there. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like. Jade, oh my honest. goodness. Don't just go. To be away. honest, Jade. I didn't. I didn't really go to math class quite. <laughs> Okay. I love I love I love recess too much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yo, I don't even know if I'm gonna edit this. No, like, <laughs> I don't know if I'm editing this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. Go, go, oh, go, 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 go. So we are okay. so I'll let you go ahead and answer your Go ahead, uh, get down. Okay, okay. Question. What makes you guys want to be loyal to your friends? Oh, wow. What makes me want, well, for me, um, what would make me want to be loyal to my friend is, is if they were loyal to me. <laughs> okay, I mean, so re reciprocation, really. Say, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, and I think especially, I think I've always been this way, though. Like, you show me, you know, if you show me who you are, then I'll show you who I am in a way. Okay. Not really, but. That's probably not how I'm Just that. not really. Yeah. I think I show myself whether you show me or not. But no, I respond off of you. I think okay. I respond off. So I feel okay. like, you know, a lot of what we do here, okay, then, is kind of like devil's advocate. You know, sometimes she may play into one side, I play into another. Like I was saying, far as, you know, I think at okay, then, what makes uh, Kimberly and I, you know, chemistry so, you know, fluid is because, you know, we kind of, take opposing sides, although we kind of agree on the issue at hand. Right. I think what makes me want to be low to my friends is that I trust them with my life. Mm -hmm. Because there have been a lot of loyal backstabbers. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Uh -huh. so yes. Sometimes people will be loyal because they want to be close to whatever you're going to become. Ooh. Wow, no Ooh, man! I, I never. You're doing it today, Amy. We're doing, doing it today. Who are you, Jade? I'm not allowed to be myself on the show. Oh my God! No, please, Jade, <laughs> oh my God! Up. 
Be so, yourself, Omar. Dude, where? So, okay, okay, I'm, Ben Farlo. Yeah, <laughs> come on, go, go. So I'm just allowed to be my. I'm I'm finally able to be myself. Oh my god. And this, yes. and this is what you're getting. And this is who it is. But uh, okay, then. I'm, well, thank I'm, you, Jade. Yes. <laughs> yes. You are most welcome. And, uh, yeah. You are unfiltered. So here we are. Let's yes. Go. Yes. <laughs> no, seriously. Come on. No, no, no. So you, they guard you, you. They have your life. No, I, I just feel like loyalty is is a is a tough it's a tough thing, right? Because a lot of time people loyalties they're not tested. Um, so you can be friends with someone and your loyalty has never been tested. So when they do you wrong, it is mind blowing. Mm. But at the end of the day, they just never had an opportunity to. Oh, wow. Right. Uh, oh, so wow. I'm loyal to my friends when something has happened in my life and they showed up. Right. Because there's a difference between being there and showing up or, or listening and showing up. Right. Listening. Yeah. Oh, Kimberly, you're going through. Oh, that's crazy, crazy. But then I'm saying. I won't call you on the phone and you can tell me what you're going through. I'll be there with you. You can tell me what you're going through. Well, yes. That's loyalty. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. So I so that mean that would that would mean that people aren't really friends until they go through something and come out stronger. I, I think so. I, I you know, I think everything needs to be tested, right? If you just mm. say I, I just say, Hey Jade, you're my friend. And then you call me in two weeks, go, hey, I need to borrow four hundred thousand dollars. I'm like, well, I don't even know you like that. <laughs> right. So I think it's it's definitely being in something and, and going through something to see where people fall. So yeah. Mm. I, I, I mean, it would come it would come back then um to the earlier statement that Kimberly made that sometimes people well, it's Kimberly or you oh, that goodness. made the statement to say that sometimes we lose we use um the the word friendship too loosely. Yes. You know? Yes. We see somebody like, and we say, oh, we're friends. And and you haven't gone through anything to become friends. Right. And I'm just learning. That's the thing to me, because I was going to say, wow, so does that mean, like, we're not friends because you and I haven't gone through anything? But we have. Okay. I was about to, that's, that, that's what I was about to, the statement I was going to make is, mm -hmm. I've only known Kimberly a little bit over a year. No. Right. Almost a year. I can't, really? Close enough. No, anyway. it was not. It's 360 days. Okay, well. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 359 days, 20 hours, and like two seconds. Stop it. Okay. But yes, no, real talk. No, Omar and I, we met in June. So like a year, yeah. I, I, and I was going to use that for an example of, I've only known her for a year, but she's shown me more friendship and loyalty than people that wow. I've known for quite a time. Wow. Like years. Aww. No, real talking. I'm not trying to, you know, pull on heartstrings. I'm just being honest. Like we've been through some stuff. Like far as friends, mm -hmm. uh, even friend in business, right? With us doing the podcast, we've been through. And even though we just got started, we've been through some tough things going through this because we have lives, right? And our lives intersect with our podcast, and sometimes they don't they don't line up with what we feel, you know, should be done on her end or my end, and it leads to arguments and disagreements. But we weathered it, and now we're still here talking to you, Jade. Nice, Being nice. Filtered. <laughs> I like that, though. I, I I really do like that. So as you said yeah. earlier, it doesn't really matter if it's, you know, it could be it could be five minutes. It could right. be, you know, it doesn't matter the length of time as long as there's something that you have gone through. Right. Um, right. But, and you know, earlier on. Well, I was talking to my husband about it. I think it's this last week or this week. Well, this week just started. But um, about friendships. And I had to be weeding out people who I thought were my friends and yeah. who are really just baggages. Because if it is Ooh. that there's any need, I can't call them or I can't talk to them about it. Right. So there are persons who have been in my life for probably years mm -hmm. and they have done so much or they have my backs, you know? Yes. And, you know, you meet people now and so, but, you know, you say, oh, well, they're just acquaintances. But people sometimes don't like that term, um, acquaintances, because they probably say, oh, no, we're friends or whatever. But you realize that it's a parasitic relationship. Right. Yeah. Where it's, they're just sucking off, you know? Oh. And there is there is no reciprocacy for both persons. It's just a one way thing. And there's some burdens that are happening because you can't talk to, it's as if you can't, you can't call one of them and say, Hey, you know, I'm going through this. 
because they're probably saying, well, I can't be there for you or okay. Yeah. You know, exactly. there's, there's no depth to it. Exactly. So if there's no depth to it, it's, it's surface. So it's not really a friendship. Right. So you guys, even though you have been in your friendship for a one year period, there are things that you have gone through that. And that is why actually your the dynamics be between both of you are so, it's so good. Mm, yeah, thank, you. thank you. Because I mean, you guys understand each other. You guys can pick off where each other is leaving off. You guys are so good. Um, where friendship is concerned. And I mean, it's something that, that people can look at and emulate. I mean, wow. you guys banter each other. It's true. You guys banter each other, but it's not bantering as if, Hey, I'm going to banter her. Or I'm going to banter him and they're going to be offended about it or whatever right. you do it. And you move on. And even some similar as just bantering many people who are friends or quote unquote friends can't do that. Right. That's right. true. Right. Like, you know, and, and, and I, I know like a part of like, my move is to make fun of Kimberly, but she knows that if she needs me, I'm gonna be there. You know what I mean? Like, well, right? Let's make fun, like, like, like for it is. Like, I mean, a great example, right? Of like when you meet someone and you become friends, and they they kind of they give you some growth and they give you some some things about yourself that you didn't know, right? That's how that loyalty starts to develop. Because you're like, yeah. for for instance, last week we were talking about something, and uh, it it happened to fall on DC. And she was like, let's just go to D.C. next weekend. <laughs> and, and if you know me, I'm a planner. I'm like, ah, well, right. mm -hmm. you know, I have to make sure my insurance is covered. You know, mm -hmm. craziness. But I said, you know what? Let's go. And literally, we had only really one full day in D.C. Full Saturday, yeah. But it was probably the best day I've had in, a, in, in quite some time. Yes. Nice. Yes. But not because <laughs> friendly, because oh, of DC. course not. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It wasn't Kimberly. No it wasn't Kimberly. It was DC. Yeah. No, but um, no, and and I appreciate that, and she knows I appreciate it. You know, outside of all the jokes, you know, that is that's she's she's earned my love too. Real oh, nice. Very nice. Oh, very nice. Oh, but that is so sweet. That's that's actually it's very nice. I mean, I wish he people really can have comes alive, Jade. With the, yeah, he really comes alive on the podcast. If you like, you have to listen to the other episodes because you really see like the nice, the complimentary side of Omar. Yes. I rarely see that. The other like twenty three hours. Mm -hmm. I never see that. <laughs> well, it's that one hour during the podcast where I really am like, oh my God, you're huge. See, Jade, if she would have read her contract. Wow. <laughs> but you like, know, but you know, the funny thing about the relationship is it's Kimberly, if he wasn't doing that, he would not have enjoyed the, the, this friendship as much. That's very true. Wow. That's, that's it. Very that's, good. That's, very thank good. you, Just Jade. Thank okay, you. we're unfiltered. All right. Yeah. I got uh -huh. Thank you, Jade. Okay. <laughs> Man, you are hey, welcome. You, you saved her because I was definitely taking her. We've <laughs> definitely been in breach of contract many times. You know, but, uh, no, that was nice. Thank you, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Sometimes we have to see things, and you know, I, I've noticed it even when I saw you guys. I said, mm, "That's that's really good what they have there." Thank Aww, you. Thank yeah, you. It was really, really good. Thank so, you. question four: Can you be loyal to a sellout? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't, can you? Oh, I can't. You can't. If you're a sellout, there's no way. How can I possibly be loyal to someone that's not loyal to even themselves? There's no way. If if, if I know you're a sellout, what's the price that you're going to sell out on me? Why am I mm -hmm. going to work and invest in you and be loyal in you when I already know from the giddy up that you're not going to, my return of investment is zero? What are we selling out on? I don't know. <laughs> I and it could, oh, it could be. An, I'm gonna give an example. So I'm gonna throw myself out there. Okay. And then you guys can tell me if, if you know what you think about the situation. Got it. Okay. So there was there was a situation in terms of it's it's someone who I don't really consider friend. So it's a couple. Okay. I don't consider one of them friends, which I'm gonna say the female. She you know I speak to her, but it's not friend. Okay. The male, he he's my friend. Okay. Or we're close. So it's a scenario in, ter in, in which they were going through some things. And I mean, they contacted me. And I mean, I was there for them as much, as much as I could be. And at the end of it, the wife had said to the husband that, you know, um, Jade had said, I'm to leave you. And 
he contacted me about it so he was saying he knows me well and he knows right. i'm not gonna do that right so i contacted the the wife and she said well she had to do that because i wasn't backing her up or taking up for her mm. and i had to eventually just all the messages i had that she had sent me sent it to him because i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let my, myself look like a fool because somebody is doing that to me right what do you think about that situation? Mm. That's a tough one. Yeah, that is. What because you that one? Aren't, you, you said you're more you're closer to the husband than the wife, right? Right. So, but but in terms of the wife, we she would speak to me because she you know it's it's a situation of she trusts me to speak to me about these things because okay. she know I won't be telling the world about what's happening. Right, right, okay. But the, 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 the mere fact of you throwing me under the bus and telling a lie on me because I was not, quote, unquote, your friend, because she saw me as a friend, I did not see her as a friend. Oh, okay. So okay. the mere or fact... Did, yeah, did, huh? did she see you as a friend? I was going to say, really, was she? I mean, did she think that? Right, because if she saw you as a friend, your, your name would have never came up right. under that, that circumstance. She would not have thrown you under the bus. Because at the end of the day, she should know that this has nothing to do with Jay. Mm. But mm. but in in her sense, friends should back up each other no matter what, even if it's a lie. But, oh, so yes. what, oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. So let me get this straight. So basically, they were in something, and she was like, "That's why Jay told me to leave you." Right. So now oh, he was supposed to. He was supposed to contact me, and I'm gonna be like, "Oh yeah, you know, I did." No, I, I can't say that because I didn't. Right. Yeah. Oh, see, and, um. I will lose. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh. So losing this friendship, well, it, is it going to feel away if you lose this friendship with this? No, woman? I've lost it already. It hasn't feel. It, it doesn't feel away. Okay. Yeah. Because I would say, if it's worth salvaging and saving, then you'd be like, "Hey, I thought that was really, you know, foul how you threw my name and you know threw me under the bus or whatever." But I'm. I know that in the heat of the, you know the moments you, you you say things you don't mean you guys go ahead and work on your thing and get that fixed and when you guys do i will be more than happy to come hang out again and, you know and we, we can continue this friendship but i, I no, don't know you? if you're gonna throw me under the bus yeah, yeah it, i don't i don't want I, my thing is sis you got it i don't ever want to see you again like precisely yeah i'm good on you because if you're going to sit, if you're going to literally say to your husband, like, oh, Jade said, I'm a, like, you'll say anything. That mm -hmm. means if you the moment, say you say she's out there and she's cheating. Guess who she's going to say she's out with? Uh -huh. Jade. Mm -hmm. Jade. Nah, sis, we're done. You <laughs> and, go. And, and, and that that's where people are you, saying. Wasn't, you, and the thing about it is. The only difference is neither one of y'all were friends. You just it honestly felt she was not your friend. She tried to use you probably just because, you know? So you right. knew she wasn't your friend anyway. And she proved that she wasn't. So, yeah. yeah. But, and, and but what she's saying, you know, you were my friend and loyalty and you're not loyal. No. I mean, yeah. and that's where, that's where not being loyal to someone is, yeah. you know? Because yeah. you can't be loyal to someone when they don't want to even treat you right. When they, right. Don't, you know, in the heat of the moment, like, it, you know, in the heat of the moment. And yeah, no. And then my sellout, like you took it to a different level. My sellout was like, if we did something and you sold me out. Well, kind of mm. like, like ex prime example, if, if this y girl cheated, you know what I mean? And she was mm -hmm. like, well, I was out with Jade. Jade, uh -huh. no, like, uh -huh. no, I don't want I don't to know. At all. I don't, like I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to sell at the grocery store. I don't want you to sell at Nordstrom's. I don't want to sell as a friendship. I don't want to sell out at all. I don't want a sellout. It depends no. on the price point, though. No, I don't. It's I don't want no? it. How much we talking here? No, see, you. I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, no, 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 no. Look, trust me. No amount of thousands would make me sell. Millions, you billions, Absolutely. trillions. I, I gave you thousands. See. They started out at a thousand when they got. So this to is a million. year, Jade. This is a year. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. So that's, the, but see, that's the difference. Like Omar is very, that's what I learned too from him in this year, which is, which is very crazy is that it's almost like Jade. I feel like I'm learning friendship all over again with this person mm. because I'm learning. And I think that's the other reason why. I really, I agreed to do this podcast with him because 
there were situations that, you know, you talk to your girlfriends about and it's one perspective. Yes. And then when you get a male's perspective, it's different. Like, Ooh, listen, you know, and it's not just a male. It's a, it's a wiser male. It's a male. It's a seasoned, no offense, but you're like a seasoned filet. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's Those are the best. Those yeah. are the best meals, no, he's actually. A, he's a seasoned piece of meat. So he's, well, he's hold on, hold not on. like that. Fresh filet. <laughs> fresh filet. Masagini, freshly, masagini fresh, freshly butchered, like Kobe beef. Wagyu. You're Wagyu filet. You're you're a seasoned piece of Jade, wagyu. See, that's a compliment. Food. No, it's a that's like the Is highest grade done? of beef. Yeah. Anyway, he doesn't eat he doesn't eat beef, but I do. So again, Omar, like our friendship, and there's been challenges, but it's like different perspectives that you didn't you wouldn't even imagine. Mm. You know, it's like you. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't have even thought of that at all. And it's yes. like wow. And I'm like a hard nut to crack sometimes, you know. So it's like when you stump me, I'm kind of like. Yeah, trying, you know what I'm, I'm trying to think of, like how to come back. Right, and sometimes I'm literally like I have I'm speechless, which is bizarre because I'm mm. never I never really am. It's just <laughs> a it's just a it's a different perspective. Yes, and I mean it's good to have that. I mean I don't think there's any friendship that should be there if there's no growth in the friendship. Right. If nobody's right. teaching anybody anything. Right. Right. And, and I mean, I mean, as I've always said it, I've, this is just my stance on it. I've always said it. I mean, you can hear things from the woman or whatever, but when you find a seasoned male as a mm -hmm. friend and he is dropping some stuff. Yes. And he, it's a different kind of understanding. Yes. It is. It is. And I love that. I think we should trademark seasoned male because you see, Jade just said it. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you want to be hit with a lawsuit for ages, and that's it's not ages. It's nothing but feels, it's nothing like but it. positive. It's nothing feels, but positivity. I feel very exposed right now. Do you? Yeah. Oh no! Excuse you me, Jay. Harassed? I need to go get dressed. You feel harassed? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like honestly, because you know, and that's the. It's like you just. It's you know. It's a good thing to have that extra perspective. It especially is. Like, especially like being single and being like in a state of this and just being new. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's really, it's good. It's a, it's, it's, it's a good situation. Yes. Majority of the time. <laughs> just the majority of the time. <laughs> yeah, no. No, she's not drunk. And not <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, it's summer, so I can be. I just work. In the education system, oh, but it's, I was it's, just kidding about yeah, her being drunk. Yeah, you say it every time. <laughs> oh, sorry, just kidding. It's fine. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. Is there any such thing as uh, indefinite loyalty? And that's our last question. Okay, so when you say indefinite, you, it, does that cross the lines of being life-threatening? <laughs> yes, it will. Okay, I mean, no. <laughs> I, 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 no. I don't think any friend is worth dying for. Okay. If the cause of what you're dying for doesn't align with your your moral understanding or standards, no. Okay. You know, and and again, that type of loyalty would never be placed in your lap if they're your friends. Yeah. Right. That's that shaky loyalty. Like, hey, man, I know you don't usually do this, but just do this for me. And you understand that him doing this for you, to, for you could get you in a whole world of trouble and hurt. Friends will friends will give a path to make being together easy, right? Mm, yes. If you have to say I want something indefinite loyalty, like man, that's 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 complex, right? Now you're talking about okay, if it's my my daughter or my son or my my you know a a, rel a loved one, a blood relative, then yeah, maybe so. Right, but friendship should never bring you to that point unless it's a health related issue, right? Like, oh, I have a bad kidney, you have a good kidney. Can, yeah. you, can you donate kidneys? I don't know if yeah, that's you can still okay. donate. Yeah, you can still do it. It's called organ <laughs> donation. Well, no, I mean, I'm, I didn't totally mean to sound ignorant, but like, you know, uh, the, the fact that of something on that lines, maybe so. Okay. Maybe so. Yes. If, if it means I can extend your life, you yes. know, yes. Yes. But if but if I killed somebody and I need you to need cover you to it up, body. Uh, no, her name's Kimberly Lewis. She wow. stays at so. <laughs> she has a purple hoodie. 
<laughs> black gloves. It's the other glove that she killed the person with. So you, you look at her house right now. She's, wow, she's you trying see to get how that is? Clothes. See? No, like, no wow. really, really okay. like, 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 what type of friendship would you have to have to help someone hide a body? That's uh-uh. love. That's to me. That's blind love. That's being in love, right? Ooh. No friend would ever be like, "Oh, could you kill somebody?" I'm gonna nah. Mm-hmm. Like I, I'm your friend. I'm here for you. But that's morally wrong. It is. And it is unless it's self defense. Killing anyone is morally wrong, right? So I cannot, in my right mind, help you do that when I know what you did was wrong. So see, that's mm. that. So now, Jade, that's that seasoned male right seasoned. there. No, no, no. Yes. Because yes. it's funny you say that because, like, for me, I'm thinking of, say, a girlfriend of mine that has really had my back. You know what I mean? Like, for real, for real. Like, just in, like, save my life almost. And she comes to me and she says, listen, um, this guy raped me and I killed him and I need you to help me cover the body. See, I'm that way. So I'm like, OK, like, well, we, let, I mean, let me think, because I'm thinking, like, what do I do? Like, I'm thinking, OK, do I I want to help her? Yes. Like this girl literally just this is like a complete trauma. And she did what she had to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but then I'm thinking I have a daughter. So yeah, but then, my but then first if, instinct is yes. Mm-hmm. My first instinct is yes, I'm going to help her. No. So the reason why I feel like you're completely in the wrong because at the end of the day, you're not the judge, you're an executioner. Right, because the it's person okay. raped her and right. she killed him so that, you know, she was it's self-defense. I right. feel like. No, 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 but, no, rightfully so. But... As a friend, I cannot help you bury the body. I'm it's sorry, better. I can't do that. Now we are now doing criminal activity. This is mm-hmm. that do with friendship because even though he raped you, if you did not go and do a rape kit and have it investigated, it is your word against his, which in a court of law, you will probably lose. No, it will. Because they'll put your character on the on on the on the on the on, on the trial. Court. Yes. Mm-hmm. And we all know that's why a lot of women do not come forward when it comes to, to, to the being raped because they are made the victims. So at the end of the day, I would be like, hey, I would help you. But I think what we should do right now is stop. Get you some help. Let the police know. Therefore, you are now freeing yourself of a crime. And now it, this, this is a self-defense case. Oh, yeah. See? Okay. Right. Yeah. So, wow, I thought you're, you were going left, but no, you went right. You you may not even face any jail time, but if yes. you cover it up, you are now covering up a murder. Right, and that's so many so many crimes in one. That's right. the seeds. Wow. That's that's right. Because right. right. you know, there's God law and then there's man law, right? Right. You have to somehow balance them both. Yes. Yeah, and... Nail, because I'm like, girl, where we going? I mean, I mean, but you know, the the, the, the thing about it. The thing about it with, with the two sexes is that for males, he will probably think logically like that. For females, we're like, oh my goodness, how do right. we hide this? We start getting frantic. Yeah, we because start I'm like, getting... you telling the cops, okay, but you just killed him. Versus, you know what I mean? So you're obviously like getting arrested for murder. We got to go through all that. But what he's saying is just stop, wait, gather your thoughts. Mm-hmm. It may be the other end of the coin where you get the rape kit. It's found positive. You understand what I'm saying? Right. His DNA is on you. You killed him in self-defense and you can just, you have nothing on your mind except right. what you went through. You don't have to right. worry about constantly looking behind you. And Jay, that is the definition of indefinite loyalty. Because mm. that friend is loyal enough to you to say, I don't want to see you go down for murder. I don't want to see either one of us go down. I want to see us get justice. And this is how we're going to do it. The cooler head has to prevail, and that's what real friendship is. Ah, balance. It's coming into balance. Yeah. Thank you. You took the words out of my mouth. Yes. Balance. balance. Okay, I got it. Well, see, I'm a Libra, so my, my thing is scale, so I'm constantly <laughs> in balance. Yeah, so that's where you are. That's where you yeah. come in. You are in balance. Yeah. Period. It's okay. Chemically. But no. Wow. Um, <laughs> he went there. Uh, he, you know, he and I'm always, kidding. He I'm always kidding. goes there. But no, I, I, that was a great question, but like, I, I also think Again, this whole conversation that we have is really talking about balance. Balance. If you don't have balance in your life, 
you're going to feel the lefts and rights and diagonals and ups and downs because you need to bring balance to your life. And the only way to assure balance is to one, believe in God mm, okay. and have people around you who share in your belief system. Yes, that's important. Yeah, it's imperative. They yes. don't, they'll bring you into their world and it may not be anything that you can handle. Right. No. Man, I'm changing my topic. It's balancing friendships and loyalty. Girl, you better do it. Okay, look at oh wow, mm-hmm. Marley. unfiltered by Jay. <laughs> well, guess the connect is from the OK Them podcast. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is awesome. This is yes, great. this was good. This was good. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for having us, Jade. This was so you fun. are Thank you. welcome. I really appreciate you guys. And yeah, so tell us where we can find you. Well, I know where oh. to find you, but tell them where they can find oh, you. You can totally find us at OK Then Podcast on Instagram, OK Then Podcast Facebook, OK Then Podcast Twitter. Yes? Yes. And uh, then, okay then Podcast. All right. So we're at Amazon Music, right? Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. Spotify, Pandora, iHeartRadio, and that's it. Is that it? <laughs> all, all, all on the OK Then podcast? Yes. yes. Okay. So go to our page, like us, follow us, let us know, subscribe, please. Everything. Yes. And, and when is it that you guys um, put out episodes? Well, we try to do it. What? We try to do it every Tuesday, but we've kind of like. Uh, this, this is our first season. So we kind of just were figuring out the day. Yeah, yeah. Which we we're trying to figure out how we can make our schedules work with having to drop a podcast every Tuesday, which I think season two will have that going. Okay. So right yeah. now it's, it's, it's going to be a little bit sporadic. You just have last. to follow us and then we'll just let you know. Normally Omar does like a promo of some sort that'll say okay. like episode so-and-so live and you just kind of follow us that way. But typically, ideally next season, we're going to do it every Tuesday. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Right. So thank you guys for being on the podcast again. And we'll definitely be back again next week, Tuesday, for the Unfiltered by Jade. Thank you.